Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Tech It tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to be covering um, mining wells, quarries, as well as the awesome, the very awesome destruction catalyst. I know a lot of you have been waiting for that so I thought I'd throw it in with some of the mining equipment. Um, unless you're a griefer then you, I guess you don't use it for mining. Um, anyways, we'll start off first with the quarry. Um, what the quarry does is you can mark out an area which you want to dig straight down to bedrock and you attach some engines to it, um, some pipes and a chest and you fill the engines, powers the quarry. The quarry will then mine out a area of your choosing all the way down to bedrock and it will mine everything, everything except bedrock. Um, I don't think it goes through lava. That's what we'll focus on first. So, let's start off with... Oh, no. There we go. First things first, we have got to make some gears. Now, gears are pretty, pretty simple. To make a wooden gear, you're going to use four sticks. And that will get you a wooden gear. Now, we're going to have to make quite a lot of wooden gears. So, might as well just make all of them you can. They always come in handy for other stuff in build craft anyways. Um, so then we're going to move on to making a stone gear. So you're going to have to put your wooden gear in the middle, cobble around a wooden gear. There we go. Now you're going to have to, for a, for a quarry, you need three iron gears, two gold gears and two diamond gears. So you might as well make quite a few of these, six of those, that should be alright for now. Um, and then we're going to make some iron gears. Now we're going to need three iron gears. So we're first going to get out of the way the two gold gears and two diamond gears. So to make two gold gears, I'm just going to put two stone gears in the middle. And put iron around those. To make two of those. There we go. And you get iron gear. Then we're going to make gold gear. So let's make two of those. And you get gold gear. So it's pretty simple, you do it, every, every single gear is exactly the same pretty much, except you surround the middle gear with whatever you want to make next, and diamond gear is the highest gear you can get, so, <clears throat> excuse me, so now we have stone gear, we're going to make more iron gears, just two more iron, oh, no, we'll make a few more iron gears actually, okay, so we have So we've got to fill those up with gold, and now we have our two gold gears, two diamond gears, and we're going to actually need one more iron gear. So let's just make those quickly. <clears throat> there we go. And we have three iron gears. Now that's all we're going to need from the gear side of things. And then you're going to need to make yourself, and I've just used all my sticks, um, you're going to need to make a diamond pickaxe. Uh, there we go, grab some of those. And I mean, I'm sure you guys know how to craft one of those. Because if not, then I'm worried. Then you're just going to need one piece of redstone. Right, so let's go into our crafting table. You're going to put your redstone piece at the very top in the middle. Diamond pickaxe bottom in the middle. And then you're going to have your gold gears on each side of your iron gear like that. And then your diamond gear go either side of the diamond pickaxe. And you get a quarry. So, pretty simple. Um, I will... Before I show you how to use it, I'll make everything else first. Um, and then that there creates a standard block size of, I'm not sure, it's it's a square block size, maybe 16 by 16, that it will mine out. Um, there is another way that you can mark out the size you want. So, that's using these. I can't actually remember their name. We'll find out soon. So, to make whatever I'm going to make, you're going to need redstone torches and lapis lazuli, lazuli, whatever you call it, and I'll make a landmark. 
And now landmark, you don't you actually only really need four landmarks. I made a bit too many. Um because you can reuse landmarks. So only make four, because that's the four corners of your quarry that you're gonna mark out. Um, and I'll show you how to use that later. Let's move on to the um, mining well now. The mining well is an interesting one because it marks out, uh, <clears throat> well, you only put it down at the very top of your section you wanna mine. And when it mines down, it mines out blocks. So say you have a vein of coal. It's going to mine out all that coal within a 5x5 five five radius around it, around its mining well that goes down. So, I'll show you how that works as well. Right, we will need, um, we will need some gears for this. So, let's just quickly make some more gears. There we go. And we'll make some cobblestone gears and then we'll make an iron gear that's all you need is an iron gear right <clears throat> so your iron gear goes in the middle iron pickaxe at the bottom redstone at the top and iron ingots around the side then we'll get to a mining well and I'll show you how to use all of that once we've finished crafting the almighty Destruction Catalyst, yes. The one everyone's been waiting for. Now, TNT. You're going to need to make some TNT. Let me just get rid of this crap quickly. There we go. Right. Now to make TNT, I always seem to get this wrong. Yep, and I got it wrong again. Ah, of course. How typical. So you're going to need to make quite a bit of TNT. We'll make four should be alright for now. And I screwed that up as well. Alright, so we made four, t four TNT. And then we're going to need um, some Mobius fuel. And I showed you in my previous tutorial how to make that. Um, so grab some of that, and you're going to put that in with your TNT, and that's going to make two Nova Catalysts. So from one TNT, you'll get two Nova Catalysts, so it makes eight, which is plenty for what we need. Right, so then, what you're going to need is the rest of the Mobius fuel. Flint in the middle, Nova Catalysts in the corners, and filling the middle will be your... Mobius fill. And I will get your destruction catalyst. Now, you'll need fuel for it, and that's either coal or redstone, or I think glowstone dust. So, um, we'll grab some glowstone dust because, just for the sake of this tutorial. Right. Let me, let me just show you how to, actually, you know, we'll save the best for last. We'll save the best for last. Right. So, put all of that away. Right. <clears throat> so, quarry. Let's show you how to use a quarry. You're going to take out your quarry and your landmarks. We're just going to go over here. And we will mark out an area, say, I don't know, from here. Make sure it's all in line, because obviously it won't work if it's not. And there. And... You can pretty much pretty much make this any size you want. So there we go. All right. Then what you want to do is you want to stick a red some redstone to activate it. Let's find some redstone quickly. And with your redstone, you right click on it to bring up that mark. So then what you do is you stick your quarry on the corner of it, and you'll see your little landmarks will pop up, and you can go and collect those and reuse those. We'll go collect those quickly. Except they won't, if they don't break off, you can break them yourself. So don't worry about that. Right, so. Now that we have our selection marked out, there's a few things you need to do to get it running. So grab some engines. Steam engines are more than sufficient to run one of these. 
there are more efficient ways, I, re I guess, to run them. So what you've got to remember is your pipes have to come off the top of these. There we go. And we can just run them straight down into a chest. There we go. That's the piping system sorted. You don't need you don't need um, wooden pipes to extract from here in. It automatically does it. Now the engines, what you want to do is stick an engine on either side. And then you want to have, if you right click on your steam engines, you can put some fuel on them and that will be coal or anything like saplings or sticks, but coal is the most efficient um, in this case. Um, and we'll get some redstone torches. We'll just keep them in an on state all the time. And you'll see them slowly starting to work. Remember, don't put anything that you need to run this machine in here, within this region here, because it will just remove it. It will just completely obliterate it. Now you'll see a frame start to get built around your um, landmark sort of yellow hazard lines. And that there indicates the area of which you're going to be mining out. So anything that's within this area, you'll see grass start to disappear. You'll see if you've built it where there's trees, the trees will start to get cut down and you won't get that wood back. So it's a good idea to mine that out yourself. And this is going quite slowly. So I think I'll add another engine on there. If I had more coal. Let's grab some more of that. And there we go. The more, obviously, obviously the more engines you add to it, the faster it's going to go. And also if you use a different engine, it's going to go even faster, so you can um, mess about with that. Um, so yeah, there we go. What I'll do is I'll leave that running and we'll come back to that at a later stage. So, let's stick all of this in a chest. Okay, so I'll come back when that is finished um, building. Okay, as we can see, this is now done, and this arm is moving down, and it's just going to start eating away at blocks. What it's going to do is, I think it's probably just going to move to the corner first, and then start. That's where all your diamonds gone into that little bit there. And there we go. So it's just going to take layer and layer and layer. That's what it does. It goes down by layer. So if I, you can actually mess with them. It's quite funny if you pop a block down there. It's going to move back. And it's going to want to remove that block. We can trick it. Again. No, no, it's gone already. Oh, oh. So what it's going to do, <clears throat> it's just going to mine its way down and down and down until it gets to bedrock. And that's where it's just going to stop. So if we come over here, you can see all the stuff that's mining. Obviously, it's just dirt now. It's going up, along, and into the chest. So obviously, you can you can filter what goes into, you know, you, you don't want dirt, you don't want cobble. Um, what you can do is you can funnel that straight into a... Um, into an energy condenser um, or an alchemical chest and convert it into coal which then gets pumped back into these engines so it's a fully self-sufficient um, machine um, and you don't waste resources really so that's that done um, what we'll do is we'll go on to the mining well now the mining well as I said before runs off a Runs off well, any engine you want, really. Um, I use steam engines because they're just a little bit quicker than um, the old uh, redstone engines. And um, what it does is it will mine down. So if we just if we just dig down here, it's just going to dig all the way down until it gets to the bedrock, just like the um, quarry. And it's going to mine out. So if it finds an ore with or a vein with say coal in it, it's going to mine the coal around it within a 5x5 five five radius and it will move down again. 
So it's a little bit more efficient than a quarry because you're just mining out a huge piece of land um, and you're just going to get everything in this square here compared to this where it's just going to mine a small area but it's going to take all the resources around that vein. Um, so, well, let's cover that back up <clears throat> and I'll show you as it moves down. So if we power these on, you really don't need much for this. Um, you can stick a chest at the top to catch anything that it um, throws up. And we'll power these engines quickly. There we go. And you'll see it start to work. Just going to work its way down. Uh, there we go. Okay, so that there is your mining well. And of anything that it picks up or goes straight into a chest. Um, that's it about it with the quarry and the mining well. Those are the two build craft um, mining machines. Now we're just going to go on to a bit of um, a bit of mad mad wizardry with our um, destruction catalyst. I do have a destruction catalyst there. Right. Okay. So destruction catalyst. There's three charges for it. There's a normal one, which it's the default one, which it's done now. I'll just actually going here. All right. And that one will take out a very small area if you right click. Take out a three by three area, just like that. And I don't know if you saw that, but it drops. I was just lucky. Um, <clears throat> so it drops this little ball here. It looks like a little black poker ball. What that the, what that is? Let me actually just get out of um, game mode. You'll see here it drops these balls to stop lag in your game. So if you right click, it drops that ball, and that ball there contains all of your material that just mined out. So if you look at my hot bar and I walk over it, it picks it up. So now we're going to charge it. To charge it you're going to hold V. So that's one charge, which will make it the hole that it mines even bigger. There we go. Now I picked up some coal. There's some iron, so we could pick that up. There we go. And if you charge it again, it's even bigger. That's getting a bit dark. There we go. <clears throat> Pretty simple. Hold V again for max. <laughs> now this is where it gets interesting. Just straight down. And you can see, look at my redstone. It does use quite a bit of redstone. Um, I did see a village here, so let's go and mine that. So if you want to decharge your destruction catalyst, you just um, hold shift and V, and that will take it down. And you click three times to discharge to the least possible amount. And then just take the little corner of your house. And then hold V again for max charge. And we will just obliterate his house. There we go. So yeah, that does use a lot of redstone. Um, it seems to have used it even if I'm in game mode. So there we go, that is pretty much all for this tutorial. So um, just a quick roundup of what we've done. I've showed you the quarry. Just just make sure that you're, if you once you've used your um, destruction catalyst to remove it from your hotbar or from your um, insta shot because you will end up destroying parts of your buildings with it. Um, also remember that you have to keep filling these up unless you have a an efficient way of running coal back into it. So there we go. This is the quarry. Um, it's going quite far down actually. The more engines you stick onto it, the faster it's going to go. The mining well, if we just uh, move down with it, we see what it's done. It moves down quite quickly, so you will be moving it very quickly. Or quite often, actually. Um, it does hit bed bedrock um, 
within minutes so you're gonna have to pick it up and you can pick these up all of this up with just a pickaxe a diamond pickaxe and um, don't have to worry about it breaking um, and obviously the destruction catalyst which is always fun and it's obviously run out of uh, power um, so there we go um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I hope you learned something from it um, next tutorial will be I'm not sure yet so <laughs> put some um, stuff in the uh, some comments down uh, letting me know what you want to see next um, maybe I'll even show you what a Nova Catalyst looks like once it explodes I don't know maybe a fun Tekka tutorial and um, I don't you guys let me know um, remember to subscribe comment share like favorite and um, any any comments any suggestions throw them down below and um, be more than happy to look at them um, yeah, so have fun with your mining and your destruction catalyst. Um, be careful with it, please. Um, I, you use it fully at your own risk. I am, I am not taking any fall damage for you. Accidentally break your buildings. You have been warned. Take it out of your hotbar. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time. See ya.